Alrighty, hey, hi, hello, how's it going guys? My name is Eater Resort and welcome back to more Bear and Breakfast. Now, before I begin, be sure to like, subscribe, and get that bell on so you stay up to date on all my latest videos. So, last we left off, we just started off the whole game, uh, we play as this bear, I can't remember his name, no, what is his name? His name is Hank. Hank? Is his name Hank? I think his name is Hank. Right? I'm gonna go into a limit city tank, but uh, yeah, so basically a bit unclear, but basically we met this um, shark guy over here and I guess it's been kind of doing like an Airbnb, like a bed and breakfast, but for humans, so we humans and bear uh, animals apparently coexist, so that's what we're doing. So we built up this little shed, it's not much right now, but it has a check-in desk, it has a bed and a, and a bedroom, so uh, it's good enough for now, so let's just talk to him, because that's what we're supposed to do. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Okay, yeah. Press the green button. Hello, uh, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. Premium property, it is, it is not. The time has come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. <laughs> These dewy, mostly careless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings, forging the world their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic if you ask Hank. Okay, Hank is the bear. All he knew for sure was what his mom always said. Keep your distance. So much for that. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Okay, front desk can be used to manage your res resorts. Sure. Overview all active resorts. You've discovered. Blah blah blah. Resorts displays below the bedroom. List of current vacancy status. Uh, everyone you guess who's progressed to stage resort, you have to accept them assigned into a room. Depending on the resort, each guest will have demands for th their room. Please accept them. Mm -hmm. Guest request per day in an area by repairing monuments. Off on an adventure in another location, your resorts will still run. Alright. Coolio. Alright, we gotta start it off first. Oh, like this? Crap, I don't like that. I'm gonna move it. I thought it's like a check in desk, uh, but it's not. I'm just gonna move shit around. Like so. Alright. Dinky shed, bedrooms, one, active guest, zero. Staff, also zero. Okay, guest review, An Anila Mooney. She wants comfort and decoration. I don't have any, oh, I have two. Plus two details, hmm. <coughs> I could accept her. You want, let's just accept her and see what happens. Assign, Anila will arrive tomorrow morning, uh, timber crossing, okay. Fantastic, except your first guest. Okay, done and done. Maybe I could add some. Can I add some stuff? Mahogany. Um, front desk. Decorative items. I don't have any decorative items, so even if I wanted to, I can't. So let's just wait. And let's clean up some stuff. Collecting nine valuables. Auto save. Okay. Um, just done that same stuff. Uh. I s hear that? Okay, nothing to lose, nothing to gain, press the green button. Got a human on the way. Congratulations, you're now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you're much, much closer to financial ruin, but you have a head start. And that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands as they become, p as you tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Good to know. Oh wait, I can talk to him again. Uh oh, alert, alert. It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I don't. Prestige. Wow. That means that the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. But it looks just like my room. That's kind of sad. <laughs> it is just like <laughs> skipping over that. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make sure your property is more appealing by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. 
What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise to property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Prestige, decoration scores. Okay, it was on prestige, blah, blah, blah. Decoration in your cabin. Most options are decorative scored. Are positive or negative? Ugh. I don't have anything to make, though. Do I? Maybe I do, actually. Nope, I don't know anything. Shoot. Maybe I'm supposed to look for recipes, huh? Do you think that's what I'm supposed to be doing? 2A24, okay. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? I've seen your likes around my buses before. Uh, I like your hair. Soft bear noises. <laughs> oh, what a kind looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here if it wasn't evident. Ah, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you, do you take the bus? I've been broken up. Mild bear noises. I see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me solid, bud? I've got this letter been dying to send. I can't just leave my buses. And there's not been any posts since. Well, only here. Probably know these places better than I do. You think you can find your way to sawdust? Can give this a beanie for me? Awesome. She usually hangs around the Firewatch Tower. Okay, buddy. Um, I guess I gotta go do a thing for you. Ooh, what is this? Pen on the string. I'm just taking his stuff. Oh, he stays in a little ticket booth. That's kind of sad. We should find a better base for some way to be here. Oliver, sorry. Okay, you got some stuff for me? Whoa there, big fella. Where'd you come from? I didn't live here. Where did you come from? Alright, enough of the questions. What are you after? Sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck. I'm looking for something humans like, something that'll make them feel more distinguished. Slop, scrap, rubble? No, maybe something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. You stumble upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great, let me just have a look at the dumpster. Not so fast, Bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, um, authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't trade just anyone off the street. My head would be in gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. But you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the sticky tuna from there. Find me a snack, then we can talk. <coughs> I got your snack. So did you find your grub? I did. Are you sure? Stale berry crunchy cheese, weak old mustard? That's all I could find. Mmm. Just like mom used to make. Alright, you prudish charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. And here, I'll let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Took's garbage. I mean real valuables. Decorative objects. Since valuables currency the world is littered with them literally. Leave behind garbage. Okay. How come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh really? I'll take you for a criminal. No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. It was only magazines and pamphlets, no bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch a human. Besides, I haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. Yeah, I wish never would be allowed past the fence in a thicket. Now you walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyway, humans coming back in droves, huh? It's pretty wild if you pull it off. Probably make a few folk pissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demands, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially slim pickings if you don't get any of the rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. Tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons or burger wrapper. It's me. I am raccoons. I'm just getting the hang of it. This sounds a lot more complicated. Now, yeah, it's a one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The beaver knew all about it. He was here when the place spilled. Who knows what new kinds of goods we'll have in the shop? 
<coughs> hmm, I have some valuables. I will buy a welcome mat. And perhaps a small potted... Scuffed cabinet, small nightstand. I'll get a small nightstand. Um, maybe a small oil light as well. And let's go with a... Let's go with that for now. Um, I'll be back. Talk to Tony about the little travel kiosk. Give me a hot minute. Is anyone- Oh, there you are, hello! Oh, she's scared. Oh, it's because it's, it's- It looks like trash. It's because it is. Alright, give me a minute. I'm just gonna put stuff in there so you feel well. Is the decoration level of this place? Decoration level is five. Yeah, all right. I think we're doing pretty well then. There you go. It's not that bad. All right. Let me talk to Tony. Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry. He's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. Look, I have been on very good authority at the kiosk up there as a next best shot getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do ya? What authority is that exactly? Um, well... Oh, marvelous! The old travel kiosk was the jewel of the timber crossing. It's one of the first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like pyramids. Now you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular parallel... 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 A rectangular what? So I think we should spruce it up like we did the shed. And that'll attract more humans and get us even more money, right, Will? Right. Still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea as usual, my son. Student. Yes, that's what I said. Take it back. You don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble. Then we get to build it. I'm done with the clearing out, actually. So all clean? Uh, hold on. Can I fix this bathroom? I need logger tools. I don't have logger tools. Okay. Almost sparkling. Wonderful! Now if I remember correctly, everything correctly, there are a few things the humans look for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. A few oddities and you get all together. I'll need a bit of human literature. Got a book back home I can use. There's also an old computer sitting under the towel and sawdust. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack. Great treasure hunt. Take your time, I'll put together everything else in the meantime. Alright. Where? How do I open my... How do I open my map again? Map, 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 map. Inventory... Not there. M? No. Quest? No. How do I open my map? Shucks, I forgot. That didn't do anything. So you know what? I'm gonna go up here. Wait, I gotta... I don't know where the sawdust thing is. Where's the map? How do I open my map? Control, welcome to the... Da, da, da. Quest log, build mode, cabin manager, map. Locked at start. Oh, it's locked at the start? I don't have a map. Okay, well, it's now. I'll just keep going then. I gotta go to saw... Ah, oh, that's blocked off. Shucks. How do I get to sawdust? Where does this go? Sawdust! Oh, here we go. Have I been here before? I think I may have, actually. Okay, I gotta look for the tower. I think I gotta get this to be. Is this the tower? 
all computer, that's what I mean. Okay, but I have to get this to be Hi Beanie. Just looking around your stuff. Okay. Hello? I don't believe you've met yet. How'd you end up here? In my feet sees. Burbling bear noises. Good! Physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? What am I saying right now? Actual literal bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just yoking you. What's a big softy like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's a, that's a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine if you're my mom. But I like... Um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person, you gave me the letter for you. Oh, Ollie's such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? It's not a weasel. Though I understand the resemblance. No, no. I found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. I barely got his driver license and I had a much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley. Figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. Compass, nice. Here, you can have this. I'll help you find way back faster. <coughs> You've obtained a compass. Ugh, my voice. Area map view can be accessed through a map button. Oh, nice. Now I have a map button. Map. 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 Map button ain't working. Mushrooms out there, they say, can give you the worst nightmare. I could sure go for some right now. Ah, funny. Alright, I'm gonna go. Bye. I think you should have pursued level 2. That's a work in progress. That's gonna happen eventually, so I'm just gonna leave that. Put a book on spelling from Thicket. From the Thicket. I have to go home. Oh, there's a lot of materials here. Who's living down here? Oh, that's where. What's his name lives? The, 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 the otter. Ah, I can't grab that. Okay. I think we have enough stuff anyway, so we'll just head back. Can't sprint, so this is as fast as I'm gonna go actually. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's so itchy. Alright. Tinky Shed, return to Oliver. Um, does she run when she sees me? Is that why she's running? Also because the place doesn't look that nice. Whatever. I'm just gonna give Oliver the Here, Ollie. Back already, bud. Fine, Beanie. She give it a letter. She called you a weasel. Barely legible bear noises. Oh, you're the man, bud. A bear. Sorry. So, what is she saying? Give me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bud. She found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Oh, drawing all this out of her was the most fun I've ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. Of course. Look, there's sawdust and high lake, and look, this is where we are. Oh, uh, probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley's huge. This place is a bus can even reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for, for a while, just me and my buses. But it just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me on my buses in a long time, but if all the new folks are no visit and all, I think she should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to pick these up like, like you did the old storage shed, I'll give you bus rides for free. Hey, I don't think bus bears have any pockets for money anyway. Look, the first one's right there next to shit. How about it? Okay. Can I open my map now? I can, yeah. That's beautiful. Alright. Let's see how much it takes to build the bus stop. I think I do have enough. I do have enough. Here you go. Here you go. I can now fast travel here. 
Um, do I need to go to a different bus to do that? I think I do. Okay, hold up a minute. I, I need to go home. Where's home? Area exit. I think I think it's at the bottom left. Besides that valuables keep popping up, you know, instead of not spawning after they come up. Because at least that way you still have um, resources to collect. Black moss. Huh. Oh no, I can't reach that. Okay, we're home. This is the ticket, right? The ticket, correct. I need a book from Will's room. But isn't mom gonna stop us? Cause you know, we're not supposed to be out. And we've been missing for like four days now. Hi ma. Make sure you don't leave it an empty stomach. Too much food makes you sleepy. Too little just makes you dumb. Sheesh. Mom, we've been missing for a while now. <coughs> oh. Here we go. Okay, we got everything. Hi, Ma. Can I? How do I grow a map? Can I just go? No, I can't. Shucks. So I think I'll, I can only fast travel when I'm next to a bus stop. Another bus stop. Presumably one that works. E, what is this? Right box. Oh. of the place we still can't cross yet, so... Hmm. Maybe down the line you can, but right now we can't. <coughs> Alrighty, we're back to Timber Crossing. Let's speak to the guy. Got everything. Were you able to find everything? Yeah. Took a while, but here you go. Oh, yes, yes. This is everything I need. Yeah, it won't take long. Alright. Ooh. Just like you. Nice, cute. little computer here and everything. What is this for anyway? Hmm. Oops. <coughs> is the kiosk ready? It's ready. I never thought I'd see this. Agoria. Excuse me? Yeah, it's 38 across in the 1982 work semis. I found a dumpster the other day. That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Anyway, you did good, kid. There'll be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and I'm putting in a good word, Big Cheese. Big Cheese. Alright, Hank, my boy. I've done about all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back at my mill if you ever need me. Oh, and uh, say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. They got a thing going on, huh? Alright, nice. He's got more garbage. These are actually a lot more nicer. Book cabinet, sturdy wood shelf. I'll get the book cabinet. Um, table lamp as well. Why not? That's 
Very good one. Round rusted coffee table. Okay. Sure. Unlocking shot content. Blueprints cooking recipe you bought one time. Once they learn, they'll just disappear from the shop. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's so itchy. Okay, let's put some stuff in there. Um. Put a coffee table here, I suppose, for now. The lamp there. Maybe a little cabinet over here. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. Um, I could build another room, actually. Should I? Let's build another room. Oh, no, no, not like that. Let's build a room like this. Build a bedroom. Um, it's a 4x4. Four four. Oh, no, no, it's a 3x3. Three three. Yep, same thing. Put the door there. Okay, um, <clears throat> I need a bed. I already have a bed. Here you go. I think that looks quite nice, actually. Um, let's move you here. And let's put like a little reading corner here. Alrighty. There we go. Can I still access the table though with when it's right there? I can't. Shucks. Alright. We gotta turn around. Turn, turn. There we go. Alright. And there we have it. Yep. <clears throat> I do have an extra room. Does anyone want it? Guess request. Nope. I made I made it too early. Prestige level 2. How do I get the thing prestige up again? Ah, uh, ah, uh, we have more decorative items. Okay, I guess we could buy more stuff. I'll buy another welcome mat. Um, another, like, nightstand for... for the second room. Okay, let's see. Old wood nightstand. Um, foil wall lamp, sensible floor lamp, small table light. Yep, I think these two are the more newer ones, right? Let's buy a rug as well. We'll buy a couple of rugs. There we go. Well, this place is up and coming. It looks dinky, but it's up and coming. Oops, I gotta... <clears throat> oh no, did I buy a welcome mat? I didn't buy the welcome mat, did I? I didn't. Shucks. It's fine, we'll just put that there. There we go. It's quite lovely, I have to say. The walls could use some refurbishing though. Look at that, that's dirty walls. Property prestige. Okay. It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations! You've increased your new property value by a quarter of a percent. That is 278% more than, than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Cool. Oh, I can talk to him again. Uh, you know what? Let's talk to Ollie. <clears throat> Hey, Alls. Ollie Bear. Did you get that bus stop fixed? Yes, I did. Approving bear noises. It's great news, bud. Oliver seems like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around in the valley. Tilk, on the other hand, was a crooked crit of a taste for stolen baloney. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of those stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it. Oh. And boom, I'll drive you there anytime. Okay, he's got a tool. Hank! Hank, where are you? I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony and he taught me how to find some lumber. 
And then we made a bed for humans. <laughs> and where did you find the alligator weed? Oh no, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also have to use some cotton. Hank? Yeah? Mom! There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to go home. <coughs> I just saw mom. To and from that location, bus posters can be found in all the shop, among other oddities and progression items. Okay, I want to look at Oliver's shop first. Bus sign, logger's tools. <gasps> That's handy dandy. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I realized I have so little money. But okay, I think now's a good time to leave this episode off here. We're not really making a lot of money, are we? Um, I guess that makes sense, considering the fact that we only have one customer, technically. Is she in here? Oh, she just... Valuables. Oh, wait. Oh, I can turn it on. Turn it on, turn it off, turn it off. Okay. Yep, but I think now's a good time to, to leave this episode off here. Um... I guess in the next episode, we'll go back home, we'll talk to mom and see what's going on there. But for now, if you like what you see and you like what you hear, be sure to like, subscribe, and get that bell on so you stay up to date on all my latest videos. As always, be safe, take care, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace!